everybody's doing their best to stay safe during this corona. I can't even during the coronavirus scare. Wondering what they can do to help. And we've got a doozy for you. A new friend of the show, Samuel L. Jackson himself, put together a message on how to help. And he gave us permission to share it with you. Take it away, Sam. Stay the at home. <laughs> the Rona is spreading. The is no joke. It's no time to work or roam. The way you can fight it is simple, my friends. Just stay the at home. Now, technically, I'm not a doctor, but mother listen when I read a poem. So here I am, Sam and Jackson, imploring you, keep your ass at home. If you want things to get back to normal, don't panic. Just use your dome. Wash your hands, stop touching your face, and stay the f at home. Motherfucker, it's no time to gamble. Look around, you're not at a casino. Just stay the f home as if your name was Trenton Quarantino. <laughs> sure, you can still see your friends. Use the mother app on your phone. But unless you just ran out of groceries, please stay the f at home. Thank you for doing your part to flatten the curve because that is steep. And now that you're home, please feel free to go the f to sleep. Be it. <laughs> okay, that wasn't for the children, but how about that? I'm relieved. I was worried he was going to say, I've had it with these money flipping hosts on this money flipping game. We're more than just good advice at HQ. We are busting our collective hump to help the heroes making a real difference during this crisis. Word. We listen to the HQ community. Uh, a lot of you wanted to give to the charities we've been mentioning all week, and now we have a way. We're proud to announce that HQ is a founding donor to America's Food Fund. That's a new charity created by Apple, the Ford Foundation, and Leonardo DiCaprio. What? Another movie star. This fund, which is opened, it was opened with $12 million, is going to help low-income families, the elderly, people facing job disruptions, and children who rely on school lunch programs. So, if you want to give, you can hit them at GoFundMe. And how about this? Whatever you give tonight, whether it's money out of your pocket or game winnings, HQ will match your donation. Three times over. Yeah! That's crazy. That's going to add up to a lot if everyone last night and tonight were to donate their winnings. That'd be a total of $30,000 to the fund. And the world's hurting right now, so it's just something to think about, you know? Just screenshot your receipt and follow us on Twitter for further instructions. Yeah! And about that prize money, the smartest kids in the room tonight are walking off with their share of 2500 bucks for their effort. Not bad for under an hour of work. And even easier to win if you've got a free life, which you can get for regularly playing five days in a row you know gets you back in the game on any missed question except for the last one okay you can get one right now if you see this pop-up on your screen do you see it use it yeah because that's that's how you get a life if you, if you find yourself needing one just tap right there or play every day <laughs> i want you to play every day okay age quizzes now that you know how we do it there's nothing left to it but to hq it so let's get it cracking with question number one. Here we go. Q1. What animal is often used to guide the visually impaired? Bee. Hermit crab, dog, or mountain goat? What's it going to be? I just wanted to ask that for the mental image of a guide goat leading somebody up Mount Rainier. <laughs> I'm a little warped like that. But millions of people have been helped by service animals, including guide dogs. Doggies, baby! 104,848 of you got it right. A woof woof to you. On to question number two. Let's get it. All right. Which of these was not one of America's 13 original colonies? Pennsylvania, Vermont, or New Hampshire? Come on, history buffs. All right, it was almost... A hard rule that to be in the original 13, you had to have an Atlantic coast. Only one landlocked state made it in. That's Pennsylvania. Tiny Vermont never even stood a chance. 
Vermont, 67,976 of you knew that. Yeah, shout out to UVM. That school has been nice enough to have me back a bunch of times. And they have delicious maple syrup. <laughs> Question number three, what's it going to be? What is Major League Baseball's oldest still operating park? Fenway Park, Petco Park, or Minute Maid Park? Okay, naming sports venues after corporations is a fairly new thing. It's the very last 30 years, Minute right? But it was fast approaching its 110th birthday is the home of the Boston Red Sox, Fenway Park. Get rid of that. <laughs> 68,410 of you got it right. And question number three, we're moving on to Q4, knocking at your door. But hey, I got a surprise for you. It's gift drop time. Boom! When you see the chest appear on your screen, keep on tapping it till your gift is revealed. Y'all ready? Tap it! Come on! Gift drop triggered. Tap that, tap that, tap to tap. Tap, 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 tap to tap. A tap, a tap, tap, to tap it and tap. A tip, a tap, tap, a tip, a tap. Come on! What'd you get? Let me know in the chat. Okay. Question number four. Starting in the 1980s, what was advertised as the other white meat? Turkey, fish, or pork? Back in the 80s. The other white meat. The nutritionists clap back against this campaign saying, don't go thinking it's as healthy as chicken. But it was a pretty valid slogan because in the culinary world, pork is considered white meat. Oink, oink, babies. 53,208 of you got it right. Pork. The other white meat. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Question number five for the children. I, 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 question five, question five. I, 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 question five. It's for the children. For the children. Yeah. Here we go. Q5. Which of these is one of the six simple machines identified in the Renaissance? Gear, pendulum, or screw? Talk to Renaissance. To your baby, Renaissance. Okay, I don't know the rules for getting on or off this list. What gets me is that the people of the Renaissance, when mechanical clocks were invented, didn't have respect for gears or pendulums inside them. Yeah, but good for screws, I guess. Screws, y'all. 25,451. That's how it's done. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know what time it is in the interest of public safety. Uh, <laughs> HQ is now requiring regular hand sanitizer breaks. Squirt, squirt. Yeah, this is a great way to stay safe when you can't wash with soap and water. You can find a product with 70% or more alcohol, but some people say 60 is enough. As if any store has a selection of different strengths right now. I, I doubt it. <laughs> Just wash your hands, okay? As often as you can. Uh, question number six. Which of these words is an anagram for a South American nation? Pure, clean, or rinsed? What's it gonna be, y'all? An anagram for a South American nation. All right, these are all anagrams for other words. I see uh, Lance and uh, Dinners in there. Is it Diners? I can't ever tell. It's two, two ends. It's like dessert and desert. It's always throwing me off. These aren't words I spell out regularly. But if you want a South American nation, you got to get Peru out of pure. 29,554 got it right. Pure. That's right. Question number seven, babies. Let's go to work. Q7, here we go. Which character in Candyland is described as a villain? Duke of Swirl, Gloppy, or Lord Licorice. I haven't played Candyland in so long. That used to be me and my sister's favorite game. Candyland. All right, quoting directly from Hasbro. Gloppy might look like a monster, but he's really just a lovable glop of chocolatey goo. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> he's really just a lovable glop of chocolatey goo. But you know who has a heart as hard as rock candy? It's that SOB Lord Licorice. There he is. Look at him. Ugh. Evil. Charlie Murphy. <laughs> oh, I can't stand licorice. You can't even taste the liquor. Uh, <laughs> 20, 
37,657 got it right. I eat Twizzlers. They taste like strawberry, apparently. No, they don't. Tastes like a candle. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Here we go. Oh, it's Nate. Cheers, homie. Ah, refreshing. That's emergency. Got to keep that vitamin C up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, question number eight. After Jack chops through the door in The Shining, he references what kind of TV show? Game show, talk show, or cartoon? Yeah. All right, this question favors the older players who spent years knowing what here's Johnny meant. For three decades, that was Ed McMahon's nightly announcement that Johnny Carson, the king of late-night talk shows, was coming on stage. Take a look at this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. Talk show! 24,823 of you got it right. And here's question nine. <laughs> There it is. Okay. Question nine. What animal species is not mentioned in Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book? Panther, orangutan, or python? What's it gonna be? Has Disney ever just straight up adapted a book without smearing changes all over it? Huh? Because they sure don't tell this story Kipling's way. They added dance numbers and vultures and that whole storyline about fire and King Louis the orangutan. Orangutan, 12,261 of you got it right. Has never had a friend like me? That's not, that's not from Jungle Book. No, that's from Aladdin. What was the, what, oh, I'm trying, oh, man, I'm trying to think of the, the Jungle Book. The Jungle, what's the Jungle Book song? It was King Louis. I'm going to think of it. I'm gonna, it's going to hit me later. All right. Uh. <laughs> I want to be like you. Ooh, oh, you know it's true. I want to walk like you. Talk. Okay, sorry. It's time for another sanitizer break, y'all. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I tried a song last night about sanitizer. Uh, but here we go. I got another one. Money Flipper cleaned his hands with alcohol and aloe. Because people who do not do that, they are really shallow. Money Flipper, rub it in. Stay safe from the virus and protect the public health of which we're all desirous. Yes. How, that was, how was that? I, I was, I was okay. <laughs> Question number 10. <laughs> I immediately forgot the tune to Yankee Doodle, but it's okay. I got it towards the end. Question number 10, y'all. Which movie title contains a cardinal number? The Ten Commandments, 42, or the Fifth Element? Yankee Doodle is so long. <sighs> Called it macaroni. Okay, Jackie Robinson 42 had nothing to do with quantity. It just showed which player he is, making it a nominal number. And fifth, number five in a series, is an ordinal number. Cardinal numbers tell you how many things there are, like commandments. The Ten Commandments, y'all. Oh, my gosh. That's a savage question. Oh. Yeah. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. 4,352 of you got it right. We have two questions remaining until the jackpot. So let's go out with a bang, shall we? Question 11. All dogs go to heaven. Let's get it. The longest title for a music album is generally credited to whom? Chumbawamba, Shawadiwadi, or Hoobastank? I'm not saying the whole title, okay? I'm not going to do it because it's 156 words. Basically, complaining about artistic integrity. But in the industry, it's commonly shortened to the first five words. The boy bands have won the well-reviewed 13th album by Chumba Wumba. Okay, 4,800 of you are moving on to the final question of the evening. Question number 12. Let's go to work. Here, the final.
Final question. $2,500 is up for grabs. How much of that money will you be making? We're about to find out. Q12. The place on Earth that's farthest from an ocean is in what nation? Canada, China, or Central African Republic? Okay, every continent has a pole of inaccessibility. That's a point. That's their farthest inland, right? But this one's over 1,600 miles from the nearest ocean. A definite world record. So if you like the beach, don't move to Xinjiang, China. 2,809 of you have just won HQ Trivia. Congratulations! You did it! Yeah! Good job, baby. That's exciting. Oh boy. Shout out to Mike D. Knight. Got 89 cents. Hershey 19. Dennis Ulti. Wolf Prince. Scooter Goo. Mama Rons. Tang. Spear Heart. S no, S Gear Heart 2. And all the other winners, we have 2,809 winners of HQ Trivia. Uh, Jesse Luhain, Guitar Chica, Agent Jack, Bible 19 just to name a few. Y'all did that. I'm so proud. All right. And that's the way it's played over here in HQ Country. I've been your host, Matt Richards, the money flipper. Holla at your boy. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. We're going to keep doing this tomorrow night and every night. So go read some books, get some knowledge, and join us here again. I'll bring the questions and the money. Catch you on the flip side, baby. Bye.